Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another video. Today I'm doing a highly requested one. I guess it kind of doesn't really fit into anything I've done before. So I've done my Who Said It, I've done my interviews, I've done kind of my next step theory videos, um, things like that. But today I'm actually doing a next step confessions reaction video. So if you don't know what a confession is, it's kind of like an opinion you'd have and in this video, these opinions that have been sent to me, they've been kept anonymous just because if there is an opinion you don't agree with or of something that you kind of just don't like in general that somebody said, I don't want people to go and hate on somebody, obviously. Um, but there's lots of different ones. So there's some kind of to do with what people want in season eight, some to do with past seasons, some to do with couples. There's lots of different things and there's some really weird ones um, as well. So I'm going to kind of be excited to explain what I think about them. Unfortunately, I couldn't include all the confessions. I put a tab on my Instagram yesterday. I'll put that somewhere up on the screen um, saying that I would like some confessions because I am doing a video on it. And I got over 50, which is crazy. Like I wasn't expecting that many. Um, so I picked my favorite ones and randomly I got 29. So that's a bit of a random number. I'm hoping to get through all of them, but I'd equally don't want this to be like an hour video so I'm just gonna kind of see what happens go down the list and hopefully get some interesting ones done so the way I'm gonna do this is that I'm gonna kind of read it out and then I'm gonna share my thoughts on it if there's like a really random one which doesn't have a lot to say and it's kind of like a yes or no answer it'll be really quick but I'm just gonna kind of go through and react and let you know my thoughts so the first confession we have is actually about Miss Sheldon, which was a season one slash season two thing. So I was sent Michelle and Eldon should have dated longer. Their relationship was wasted. Now, this confession, I 100% agree with because at the end of season one, and well, kind of from like when Michelle and Eldon did Inside Out onwards, um, their relationship was set up at the end of season one. And for it to be literally like, 10 episodes long and for Michelle to not even get any attention from Eldon it was such a waste of a relationship and the fact that the viewers had waited that half a season and a bit more it's just like what was the point of doing it if you weren't going to do it properly so with this one I 100% agree Kingston and Lily have a toxic relationship yeah they do I mean I guess not gonna be rude but Eldon kind of started that off with them having to be like mean and and angry and things to dance well I guess that's kind of his fault for doing that but equally they are teenagers they are probably 17 18 in the next step breaking up every day like three times a day is not a healthy relationship and I hope they recognize that so yeah I agree with this one too Stephanie was actually a nice person I never liked her at first but in season three she changed so much yeah so season one and two Stephanie so I think in season one Stephanie kind of just wanted to fit in with the e-girls um because I do think she was a horrible person at heart I think she just kind of wanted to fit in with the with the crowd you know and I get what you mean. Season three, she really became her own person. She really danced for herself. Her personality completely changed. And she was that, I felt as if she was actually quite insecure in season three compared to the past seasons where she's been confident. So yeah, I agree with this one as well. I'm agreeing with all of them so far, but you know, we might get one in a minute, which might rock the boat a bit. Right. We do have one which is going to rock the boat. This one is really weird, so just get ready. Michelle and Emily should have a baby. Um, no, I don't think they should have a baby. Um, I think there's one later on which says about Michelle and Emily. Oh, it's next. All right, so I won't get into them dating yet. But Michelle and Emily having a baby. Why? Why is this, ha why is this a thing? Why are people thinking of that? Michelle and Emily are friends that's kind of where it ends. Not a, not a baby, thank you very much. Staying with Michelle and Emily, Michelle and Emily should have dated. No, Michelle and Emily are best friends. They are probably soulmates in a friendship kind of way. I just can't ever see them dating. Now, some Michelle and Emily shippers out there, I can 100% see why you ship them. But for me, I just, I, I can see their relationship and I feel as if it is just a friendship and nothing more than that. Oh, this next one's actually really interesting. 
it is I think Angela and Nick should get together in season eight. You know what? I am actually all for this one. I feel like Nick and Miss Angela would be such a good couple. Like, I feel like they would really bounce off each other with that dance mania thing. Like, because they had a really good on-screen relationship as well from the uh, one like episode we saw the scenes with them together. I think that would be really good. So, Amy Wright, any of the writers, Karen or anybody, if any of you are watching this, let's make this happen, please. Right, this one kind of goes back to what we said earlier about Kingston and Lily. King Killy or Linkston shouldn't be together if they argue, like, uh, is that 258 million times a day or 25 million, something like that. Yeah, agree. I've already kind of explained that. Don't be together if you're going to break up all the time. That's the end of the story, really. I don't know if this is a proper confession, but TNS4 was my favourite one. I think the next step, season four, is really underrated. Like, to be fair, it's actually really good. There's loads of storylines. It's 40 episodes. And Riley's not actually that bad as Studio Head, to be fair. She's just got her heart broken, that's all. She's a bit confused with what to do with her heart. Oh, just shook the camera there. Um... I mean, you know what? Season four is really good. It's got loads of stuff going on, and that is what we did miss in season seven. Lily is Nick's daughter. Um, no, I don't. Why? I I don't. I don't really know what to say about that. I just. It doesn't. It couldn't work. I just don't think. I don't think that could work. I think Nick's too young for to be Lily's dad. Yeah. No. That's just. Yeah. I don't think that's happening. I would love if the next step, season eight, wouldn't have so much romance except for Clued, which is Cleo and Jude, if you didn't know. Um, you know what? I actually do agree with this. I feel like season seven was really relationship heavy and that the only good storylines were the relationships other than Emily leaving, um, other than... Actually, I was going to say and Piper's storyline, but that's love as well. So yeah, I would like to see a little bit less love if we can. Piper's anxiety storyline is underrated. 100%. So if you didn't know, in season six, Piper, they never said she had anxiety, but she did. So she developed anxiety because of the comments Miss Angela made, and it really made her feel insecure about herself and in her dancing. And because that storyline stretched out across the season, then at regionals, obviously, we had when she ran off saying that she was going to let everybody down that really that's really an, an inspiring story and I don't I agree it doesn't get recognized as much as it does just because they didn't say the words Piper has anxiety but she does and you know what I really wish as horrible as it was for that character that they did continue it in a little bit more into season seven because it kind of seemed as if Piper was just really confident and happy and there was only a three week gap between her not wanting to go and dance to her being really full out and confident so I really hope that maybe we see a little bit of it in season eight. I feel as if she's overcame that now. Um, but yeah, it was a really good storyline. I'm sorry, but Michelle deserved better. It depends in what sense. I feel as if in the whole Michelle and Eldon thing, Michelle was treated appallingly by Eldon and Emily in some ways in that season. And season one, she was treated horribly by Emily. Season three, I think she was supported well throughout because of the whole parent divorce thing. Season four, she was amazing. She was confident. So season four was fine. Season five and six, she was studio head. So the earlier seasons, yeah, I think she really, really did deserve better. But the later seasons, she didn't. I feel like that mid season three is boring and some of it is cringy, like Eldon trying to do 30 pirouettes. That storyline was really boring. Eldon and Talia took an entire season to get together, right? And then Talia left in season four, episode one. So we literally did not see a lot of them until season six. I have a crush on a lot of the next step cast. Good for you. I think that Riley shouldn't have become studio head in season four and Giselle should have been instead. I actually saw a video the other day about this, that Giselle, Talia and Michelle were like rehearsing in studio. Well, no, it was the music room actually at the time. And Giselle did say that she would have taken over from Miss Kate. So it would have made sense for her to. And she was dance captain. She had that leadership experience. Um, but Riley was all right. Riley wasn't the best. Emily and Michelle, I think season six probably was the best. Um, but yeah, I would have loved to have seen that. Perhaps season eight. You never know. Rochelle and Noah should have dated since season three. No, I don't ship Rochelle and Noah in that way. Similar to Michelle and Emily. They're just really good friends. 
like we saw it in the what if series and it, i just found it a little bit strange to be fair um so no i wouldn't want to see them as a couple the margie glitter thing wasn't that bad like i got what the producers were trying to do yeah i can understand why they did it and i know that it seemed to be quite a wholesome way for Margie to leave, but it was just unrealistic. And for the show to be a re reality TV show, it isn't. So it just doesn't fit in with the kind of vibe the next step has. Summer shouldn't have gotten the dance captaincy. Yeah, it's a hard one because Summer didn't have any dancers on her like trio who got onto a troop but equally she did tell Presley like some criticism. So she did have the leadership skill. I don't know. Um. No, you know what? Summer did deserve it. She didn't do a good job, but she did deserve it from what Emily and Nick saw. This person's like put the no Amanda and Noah and Jackie, and I agree. No, uh, Noah and Amanda, I do actually prefer to Noah and Jackie. I just feel like Amanda and Noah were just so wholesome and I love their relationship. So I kind of wish that they'd stayed on. Obviously, Amanda left, but it would have been nice to see a bit more of them. I think Riley is the best dancer to ever be on the next step. Riley fan I'm supposing you are yeah um, Riley was a fantastic dancer but I do have a soft spot for Rochelle and Michelle and Noah those are my three favorite dancers Riley would probably be fourth for me but yeah she's phenomenal I think B Troop should go to nationals because they were dedicated and they work so hard yeah I agree B Troop should be going to nationals I love A Troop I love the dancers on A Troop but B Troop is a fresh cast, I guess. So I would kind of like to see what would happen if they went to nationals. Plus they deserve it, like you said. Season seven is worse than season four. Yep, it is to be fair. Season seven wasn't the best. It was, it was good. It just wasn't amazing like the other seasons have bought. So I agree with that. Season two is the best storylines. I wouldn't say it has the best, but it has some pretty good ones, to be fair. Like, we had the whole love triangle, then the love square. Michelle Michelle actually, ha I think, kind of had a bit of anxiety in season two. Um, things like that. And, oh, and Amanda. Oh, my gosh, Amanda. That was an amazing storyline. So, yeah, I would agree. It does have some really good ones, but maybe not the best. Piper has always had a thing for Amy. Um, no, like, not... See, there's so many of these, like, non-canon ships that we want to happen, you know? <laughs> but, like, no. Uh, Piper and Amy are just friends, just like Michelle and Emily, just like Noah and Rochelle. I do not ship them, unfortunately. Rochelle is overrated. Like, I see this a lot because... I don't know, I disagree. Rochelle is amazing. She Her dancing is amazing. Yes, her personality isn't the best at times and she does need to develop a bit in that sense. But I still think she's a really, really good character. Hunter and Emily would have been a better long-term couple than West and Emily. West and Emily weren't a long-term couple, but Hunter and Emily, I ship still today. I just still want Hunter to walk back through Studio A and ask Emily to marry him. I really ship them, and I'm watching season two right now, and I love watching them together. They're literally so pure, and I just wish that we could have seen this a little bit more. I believe that Beth should have had a happier ending. She got left on a terrible storyline. Yes, thank you. Beth was actually not ba a bad character. She was just following her heart, just like a load of other people did. She loved James, so she wanted to be with him. And she really did the right thing when she gave James the four-leaf clover. So I think Beth should have got a better storyline, to be fair. And I wish that we had seen her on A-Troop. Like, when they kept making her mess up in auditions, it was just so annoying. Jackie should have had more of a storyline. To be fair, Jackie did get a big storyline with Noah and her sister. Um, but she should have got a better ending, if that's what you mean. I believe Jackie should, should have had a proper ending. Maybe she could have left in Season 7, Episode 2. Something like that. I just kind of wish we'd seen a better exit for her. So the last one I've got is an interesting one and I don't think a lot of people will agree with it, but you never know. Ozzy and Lily in season eight. Um, no, oh, I don't ship them just because of what Ozzy did do to Lily and Kingston. I think Lily isn't Ozzy's biggest fan, um, but you never know. You don't know what happens. I still kind of do like Ozzy and Rochelle at heart, Rochelle and Ozzy. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not a fan of that, to be fair. But we'll see what happens in season eight, I suppose. I guess that kind of sums up all of the confessions. I'm so sorry if I didn't use yours. There were some amazing ones which didn't make it into my list. Um, maybe I'll have to do a part two at another time. But those are some fantastic confessions. I hope you enjoyed me reacting to them. 
Also, feel free to comment what you think about the confessions in the comments. Video suggestions, next step related or non-next step related, are always appreciated. So feel free to comment them too. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I guess I'll see you soon for another one. Bye, guys. Please.